Do you remember? Woo woo woo, woo September. I ate way too much before doing this. I should at least give myself like a 30 minute break. Of course I say this and I'm opening up a Reese cup. Reese, who all likes a Reese cup? Say yeah. Hey, hey everyone, Hot Zenny here with a mini Fig Ultra vlog. Last year, I got the con bug again. It's been a while and I've just been wanting to attend more anime conventions. I've been in the mood to like try cosplaying more and go to different places. My only con experience so far is just going to the one big local one in Detroit near me, uh, YumaCon since uh, 2015. And a big thanks to my friend Brandon for introducing me to anime conventions and showing me how much fun they can be to attend. But Yuma is only once a year near the beginning of November and that is a long ways away. Ooh, there it is from now. <laughs> So I found one in Ohio that was a little over an hour away that my friend and I could spend a few hours at and drive back home before it gets too late. I got the cosplay in the back. Business pants in black. Let's get the ball. Let's get the dough. Oof. Yeah. You want to come with us? Sure, oh. dude. <laughs> he's all he's all suited up already. I'm lazy, you know. I'm just gonna put everything on in my car. In your car? Yeah. I can help you no, I don't need that. I got the. <laughs> hey, easy. I thought that was you. Yeah, I hope you, when you seen that car parked over there, you didn't go into it because I almost did. I was like, why is he parked across the street? Because <laughs> he said you're leaving, so I came and I looked, and I'm like. Pat and I pulled some cash out of the ATM, grabbed some much needed caffeinated drinks, and headed south towards our convention. Waffle House. There she is, baby. We made it to the crown jewel of Toledo, Ohio. Waffle House. Go and get some breakfast, boy. We are on our way to Anna Marathon in beautiful Bowling Green, Ohio, to the little college that has our anime convention. We're in Ohio. Let's go get some breakfast and then finish up the rest of this journey. I've never eaten at Waffle House because, well, there are none in Michigan and I've always been curious of what the place is all about. So while looking up directions there, I found there are some in Ohio. <laughs> Actually, in fact, there were like a bunch of them along the route the way there. Waffle House, at the Waffle House. We at the Waffle House. They the waffle cameras in the Waffle House. Watching they watching us, us in the Waffle House. Said so they, they watching us in the Waffle House. I got this is my first time eating at Waffle House. Oh, it's all sticky. I got waffles. Is that all they have? Oh, yes. Damn, with this. Mm. You gotta put the glop of the. Uh, Spread right in the middle. Get your whip, your whip spread. You gotta go. Put that in the mouth right in the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. My waffle was a bit soft and undercooked. Could have been a little crispier. No drunken fist fights or flying chairs. So I'm giving the Toledo Waffle House a 4 out of 10. Guess we gotta go later in the night to get any action. Parking spot, dude. I don't know where to park. Here's the little robo boys. Where'd you at? Let's crack them open. <laughs> the parking lots were all filled up, so we ended up driving across the street. There's like one spot in the back where I tried to parallel park in but could not fit. We had to drive even further down to find another spot. <laughs> it looks like we're about to go door to door. What I said was that we looked like Mormons and were about to go door to door. This was a last minute decision to come to this con. It wasn't really set in stone until like a few days before. I still knew that I wanted to cosplay as Aki from uh, Chainsaw Man 
felt that was just like a pretty simple, straightforward cosplay to do that I could like have red on the ready. I suggested it to my friend a week before that we should try uh, grouping up. I've never done a group cosplay before. Saying he could go as Denji since it's just a button up shirt and a tie. He's never uh, cosplayed before, but uh, was kind of into it. He was still kind of mad about the cosplaying as him though, especially since he's never seen the show. I guess he binged a few episodes the night before we left and instantly fell in love with it. He managed to like scrape up everything that he needed for his outfit like right before he left, except for the shoes. I think just attempting a half-assed cosplay or just doing something very simple and easy can still like enhance the whole con experience. It's just a whole other vibe cosplaying rather than just going normally dressed to a con. I think there's just more like interaction involved and like somehow you feel more like comfortable dressed up. <laughs> you feel like almost not as uh, you don't stand out as much. <laughs> which is a weird thing to say. When we were sitting in the car somebody was trying to parallel park where this blue car is now and we were sitting there watching and we thought they were going to back away but they done backed straight in this poor nissan i wish i would have recorded that i guess i just had more faith that the driver was going to stop maybe that little scratch right there yeah it doesn't look like it it's a surprise hesitate to break at all. Yeah, that was <laughs> when they the too. I actually went a little more all out on my cosplay than I was supposed to. I even bought magnetic earrings and like legit Chuck Taylors. You don't want to walk around all day with fake cosplay shoes. It's not worth the sore feet. Oh, and his sword, which I left at home. I totally forgot to bring this with me. I'm still mad about that. I even spent time like customizing the strap to make sure it stays on my back and everything. We'll get them next time. So the weather was supposed to be a little wild this day. Luckily it didn't rain hard and it pretty much stopped by the time we got there. But, but the winds were absolutely insane all day long. I believe the weather channel said that uh, this area in Ohio got winds over 50 miles per hour. I think with it being so cold and just super cloudy and gray, it, it kind of killed the mood of the con a little bit, I think. Plus, I personally was just super tired and worn out from staying up way too late coughing with my wig. I hate wigs, man. Wigs scary, scary double, double day. day. We braved the wind and the sleet, found where to get our badges at, which I finally got an official con lanyard after all these damn years. I always have to bring my own, so this is nice to have a, a really nice one. We even got to choose pink or blue. I thought uh, pink would uh, look good with like my black suit. Pat got blue. The line for the dealer's room was a little lengthy, but I think it moved pretty decently. I think it just looked longer than it actually was for us. We weren't really in it that long. Vito standee was probably the most popular attendee at Animarathon this year. Everyone was like stopping to take pictures with them. So now I know when I get my own table at a con that I will definitely be buying a buddy to hang out with me at, a ta at the table. I was thinking this version of Vin Diesel would be a good one for pictures. Ah, this was also the table where I picked up this shirt at. And my friend got this uh, comically raunchy patch. Ooh. We did the Artist Alley tour. My go-to move for the dealer's room is to look at everything and then attempt to remember which table had the stuff that I liked and uh, try to find it later. Never works. I usually only buy something on the spot 
if I'm like super sure that it's something that I really want. We found a few artists that attended Yomacon last year, like the people that had the Nostalgia Critic Daki Makara. I bought the mini one as a joke. I've never actually watched a second of his videos, by the way. I thought it was just funny. Speaking of artists I've seen before, we picked up a few stickers from this one. Pat got these two, then I got these. The display for their stickers was like dark, and I thought this was Miku. That's not Miku, right? And when we were standing there and I was looking at all the stuff and one of the ladies down there just said, hey, and she was like down in the corner and I was like, yeah? And she just kind of like went like this. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah. She was referring to my cosplay and she sold me on this sticker. But uh, these were the same people that I bought my Space Dandy slash Cowboy Bebop print like back in I think 2016. I never have plans to buy a plush because, well, I have nowhere to put them. This was probably the best table I've seen at a uh, convention, like, period. They were bakery themed, even using, like, a warmer as a shelf. So I ended up leaving with uh, my, uh, let's get him up here. Yeah, it's uh, my Sleepy Time Tangla plush. <laughs> He's my main dude, man. It's Tangla. He's got his little nightcap and a blankie. He was the only one left. I think they had a Snorlax on there too earlier, but uh, somebody snagged him up. But I like Tangla. Yeah, so this is one of those times I was talking about where I insta-purchased. The Pat was my uh, helper and carried him underneath his arm for me while we were walking around. And like, people kept on stopping us throughout the con. Everyone loved Mr. Tangla here. So we got the knuckles. We got the knuckles. Oh, sure. I have my girl. I didn't buy this plush, but I bought a pin of him because he's he's based on the legend of the fabled Hat Man. Yeah. There we go. We went to the car to drop off Tangla. We got the plush, and it is gale force winds out here in Ohio. <laughs> so we're gonna run back. We parked a little bit closer. We were parked over there. Now we're right here. Oh, we found a Fuchita plush for uh, Pat, which was awesome. He was also a little star, of course. People love plushies, I'm telling you. I found it out last year when I had my Morgana plush with me. When looking up info on this con, it said that the dealer's room closed at 5 on a Saturday, which is like super early, so I think that kind of ended up rushing us. I didn't want to miss the dealer's room, because that's still like my favorite thing to do at the conventions, is like to go over it multiple times. I didn't want to get sidetracked till I knew that uh, I looked at everything, so I, I didn't want to stop cosplayers for pictures, or uh, we didn't even visit any panels. We like, went out to the car to drop some stuff off and kind of take a break. And we wanted to go back and buy the last couple things that we've seen, like my Keep Your Hands Off Azuken poster, which is like the only merch of that show that I've ever seen at a con so far. I did find a group cosplay last year at YomaCon, which was awesome. Shout out to this Yu Yu Hakusho keychain. Check out the back. It has Hiei's sister there, aka Kuwabara's crush on it. Also this Batgirl keychain, which the mascot for my t-shirt brand is Batgirl themed. So I like that. Well, that's about it. We grabbed something to eat from the food court, found a random loose fortune cookie. It's inside the Panda Express mystery fortune cookie. A cheerful heart makes its own song. What do you think about that? <laughs> I don't know what that means. We went back, went back to the car to relax for a minute. Thought maybe the cold air would wake us up a bit. <laughs> oh, it does. Because uh, we were feeling pretty out of it around this time. But I guess that was about the run of things. I found the game room. <laughs> but that's all it was. A room with a game in it. Really nothing to do in there. It was like two consoles that people were kind of playing. I think somebody was playing Smash Bros. There were like a couple tables that you could play tabletop games on. Yeah. 
<laughs> Taking it one level. Yeah. <laughs> we hung out for a bit. You know what you do at cons, sit down and do nothing. And I remembered we should probably be at least taking some pictures of ourselves. I mean, we did dress up as cosplay. We should at least get like one or two pictures. <laughs> Sadly didn't do much. I, I only stopped two cosplayers for their pictures. Like I said, we were wiped out. The weather really uh, dimmed the mood. And I think the layout of the college kind of isolated everyone in a way. It seemed like mainly people were keeping to themselves. And, you know, no one could meet up outside since it was like the movie Twister out there. I was expecting a flying cow to come by at any second. I think the atmosphere of a bigger con is more welcoming for interaction compared to uh, the smaller cons. But it was still a nice experience. It was cheaper. It was only 15 bucks to get in. It was worth the trip. It was nice to get out, especially during this like crappy part of spring. Hopefully there will be even more convention action in the future. I have a couple more characters to plan to cosplay as. I can't wait to get in the mix of all the con craziness in the future. So thanks for checking out my little vlog. I hope you had fun. Much love. You guys are the best. I'll see you next time. Bye everyone. This happened, this, the same like thing happened last time at Yumacon. We got attacked by the wind. Mm -hmm. Music stopped. The music stopped! How do you like my hairline? Do I still, I still have the yeah. ring from the hairnet <laughs> around my head. All right, that wraps up Animarathon. It was just a quick little trip. It's time to head back home. Get swept away by the wind. Let's get out of Burger King. Thank you for the bathroom. I appreciate it. Jesus. Just letting you know, belts are back. There you go. Too bad, baby. The belts are back. <laughs>